Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and today we are looking at yet another website that has free 3D content that you can use in your own personal projects. And uh, this time uh, we are going to be looking at specifically assets or 3D models uh, that are suited for uh, 3D printing. And uh, for, this web for this we are going to be looking at uh, myminifactory.com which is a website that has a lot of uh, 3D models ready for 3D printing. So if you are into 3D printing and even if you are not, these models can also be used for any other uh, type of uh, 3D work. Uh, they are not only just strictly for 3D printing. If it's 3D printable, it can also be used in other different 3D stuff. So if you go to myminifactory.com, you can find a lot of free 3D models that are printer ready, uh, but uh, most of them are for sale. You have to pay to use them, but uh, there is a trick to find a lot of free uh, versions. So if you want to find free ones, you just have to scroll down until you find uh, the footer and uh, click on uh, browse content. Uh, this should take you to a page where you will find all uh, the different uh, models you can see all these are free models uh, the only thing you have to look out for is that uh, some of them have a uh, different licensing so for example if we just click on this here and uh, find something uh, like this here as well and um, let's find a different asset maybe this and uh, this uh, this so you will see that uh, they have different licensing. Uh, you can see the different type of licensing that they have. You can see this one has, uh, if you just move your cursor over these uh, icons, they'll tell you what type of licensing uh, they, are, they have. Uh, so the first one here, it shows you, uh, please credit the designer when sharing this work. And uh, uh, you also have, you can, you can remix these objects and share your remix. Uh, you can't use this model to make for commercial use. For each model, there is a different type of licensing, and you can see by this icon, you just move over the, the icon and to see the different licensing. So ones that have this cross sign, this uh, dollar sign and cross, I think uh, they're not for commercial use. You can only use them uh, for your personal projects and uh, maybe just examining how the projects look. And if you just want to look at those that are free and uh, available for commercial use, just have to scroll down until you find the, li the licensing uh, menu and select uh, commercial use allowed. And then search. Now that should give you all the models uh, that are ready for commercial use. Uh, so for example, if we click on this, you can see this is a Creative Commons uh, license and uh, you don't have to, uh, this is also in the public domain and uh, every time you scroll, more models will be, will be fed into you, onto the page so you can look at them and uh, examine. So let's try downloading one of the projects and see uh, Creative Commons public domain. Now you can remix this with any objects because of course it's a public domain asset uh, so you can use it as you want and now you can click uh, download or uh, you can choose to download and join or just download directly without even logging in and uh, that should uh, Download the asset for you. So now that it's done downloading you can import it in blender as an STL file So import STL uh, because all the models from that website are going to be STL file ready for print for printing But I can also import them in blender. So uh, Okay, so here is the model, but uh, it's quite heavy has a lot of polygons and uh, you can see it's uh, quite dense. So what I'm going to do is uh, first remesh this uh, by using the remesh modifier. Let's see like a point two. Uh, then uh, what I can do, I can just apply this so that we can reduce on the resolution of this model. I think we can use some of our my texture resources. this so this is I think a bit large so let's scale it down apply the scale and, uh, can. have something like this and uh, if we go to vertex paint we can paint uh, some dirty vertices see that 
Uh, this will highlight uh, some of the edges there, uh, which is something we want to do. Then we can uh, play with the blur. We can play with some of the settings here. And so you can see now we have some highlighted edges. Now we can use them here. So text input vertex color. And uh, you can see what we have here. Add a math node here. Then increase the power like that. Now we can use this. We can blend this with this and So we can make this look like a, a bronze. And so you can do a lot with these uh, with these uh, assets. And uh, the, great, the great thing about 3D printable assets is that uh, they, are, they have a lot of polygons in them. So it's easy to extract dirty vertex texture maps like this create these kind of materials which I think are quite nice. So we can make these areas have sharp reflections uh, by simply using this mask here. Control uh, the, the kind of reflections we have here. So I'm just going to use this as a factor. And can play, yeah, and uh, that's it. So I'll be leaving a link in the description. And uh, if you want to check out uh, this material setup, uh, this model is going to be available on my Patreon page as well. Since uh, it's a, co a Creative Commons license, I can share it as well. So I'll, it will be available on my Patreon page. But uh, you can check all the other links in the description. So thanks for watching.